I know. You're thinking poor Penelope stuck in Australia again. Well, I try not to complain too much. Fill me another grave. If Bruce wasn't so untrustworthy and sly, I wouldn't be in this mess. I'd be home in England. Hang on, Conrad! The only good thing about this ghastly place is Conrad. I know I should despise him, but sometimes the ways of the heart just make no sense. <laughs> and as time passes, I do think he likes me just a little bit. Look at that toffee you nose know, stuck up on. She makes me sick. Hey, I know how you feel, mate. But you're gonna have to bang on the charm. Or we'll never get anywhere near that Eiffel. <laughs> Come on, them Tokyo tourists will be looking for their tucker. And this is where they can find it. The other reason I've stayed here so long is because Bruce and Baz do love Australia. And I've let them have a bit of a working holiday, just to prove that I am a considerate and responsible master. Okay, holiday's over. Time's up. But we've only been here two hours. Too long. Now, I want to go home to England. Oh, come on, mate. You're not being fair to this great country. Maybe we should show you around a bit. Why don't we get out the old magic carpet and give you a bit of a look-see? Because I want to go back to England. Now, I want five million pounds in cash. That's my... Yeah, whoa, 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 man. I could do that for you. But where's the money going to come from? Well, it's got to come from somewhere. I can't just throw five million in the pot. That'd cause inflation. And when you make a wish, you've got to think about the consequences. You have to be responsible for your wishes. Now, instant inflation is highly irresponsible. Right, son? Right, Dad. Instant inflation? A real genie would never mention such a thing. I just wish you were one. Well, you just asked for a genie proper. So here we are in all the clobber. I hope for you it gives a thrill because I feel like a total dill. That's uh, very nice, but I think I'd like to go back to England now. Come on, Pen, let's go for a ride. Dad and me will be your guide. An amazing trip for you is planned to show the beauty of our fair land and to give a verdict true. I'll leave the judgment up to you. I wish you would do that! Over there! Look! 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 Oh, Kookaburra! All part of the Outback experience. Kookaburra! My joy I can't contain when I see this wide open plain. No wonder I love this place so much. Look at that, it's completely untouched. I'm not surprised. All those snakes and crocodiles. And... Beyond belief, that's our great barrier reef. Sharks. What's that awful pile of tissue paper down on the shore? Hey, don't be such a louse. That is the Sydney Opera House. Up in the way, let's go with them. Come on, son, stop mucking around. that a wish, my little dish? Yes. Then our tour has had a finish. <laughs> 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 Son, it really was quite outstanding. 
Stop talking to me in all those rhymes. You've tricked me far too many times. No more rhymes, no more costumes, no more flying carpets. And that's a wish. Now, I want to go home to England and I want ten million pounds in cash. Let's think about the pros and cons of this particular request. The uh, ups and downs, the consequences, the cause and effect. The pros are I'll be home and rich. The cons are heat, dust and flies. The ups is that I've got my own personal genie. The down is it's you. There is nothing in this world, not one single thing I can see, that will convince me to stay in this dump. G'day, Pen, how's it going? Conrad, so nice to see you again. Get lost. Take a hike. That's a wish. You know, I was thinking, you know, here you are in Australia when you've hardly seen any of us, I thought I'd show you around. Oh, yes, that would be super. Then I started to think, what would Pen like to do? What would she really enjoy? And then it hit me, yeah, that's it. A real Aussie treat, you'd love it. My shout, what do you reckon? Do you want to go? Yes, I'd love to. I wish we were there right now. Could only get standing room, you know, but I wish we had some good seats. Yes, so do I. Hey, I've got two tickets I can let you have real cheap. They're very good seats. We'll be all right. Come on, F.W., get in them! Go to the door! Go on, F.W. Go on, F.W. Go on, F.W. Go on, F.W. Fancy a bite? Thank your pardon. Don't you wish you had something to eat? Oh, yes. Yeah, can you open this for me? Yes, of course. Oh, watch it! Oh, shit. Your opal all right? Sure, Go, doggies! Go, doggies! Oh, good jump, all right. You sure you don't want me to mind the opal? No, it's fine, thank you. Punch him out. Break his head. Go, that doggies! She'd pull his head in. If that'll shut him up. Now, I want to go back to England and I want 15 million pounds in cash. Whoa, That's whoa, whoa. My... Where do you want me to get the cash? From the bank or the Royal Mint or maybe somebody's account? I mean, technically it's stealing, but what's 15 mil among friends? I want to go home. Isn't this perfect weather, darling? Lassie and I have been doing this for a long time. Hey, Otto. The customers are ready and waiting for the next thrilling instalment of the Outback Experience. Oh, this too, I'll, I'll fry. It'll be the Outback Expiration. Go and tell them to watch a video on the bus. The aircon's broken down. I couldn't give a fat rat's. Well, you tell them. It's your experience. Did something happen to you, Baz? Hey, my No, don't be silly, Baz. I wish you'd pull your head out. Well, I never. But that's better. Don't do it again. The wind might change and you'll stay that way. <laughs> Can you hear that, Penelope? No, I can't actually hear anything, Mummy. Exactly. The calm and the peace. Can't you feel it doing you good? Do they know? <sighs> well, they might know it, but uh, I can see it doing you good. I haven't heard any traffic for ages. No noisy neighbours, just 
out of peace and tranquility. Lady Towns. Oh, I'm I think... Madge Brewster, chairperson of the committee of the Townsville Country Women's Association. Oh. And this is Mrs. Turner, Mrs. Gurner, Mrs. Werner, uh, Mrs. Lovett, Mrs. Glover, and Mrs. Peak. Oh. Oh. And this is Mrs. Peak's granddaughter, Kylie Bicalucci. Oh, charmed, I'm sure. I'm only Miss Mossop, the housekeeper. Oh, oh. Uh, oh hello. I'm Diana Towns. Oh. Visitors, how nice of you to call. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, that'd be lovely, your ladyship. Thank you. We all brought a plate so you wouldn't be put out. Oh, very sweet. We've plenty of plates. Go on, Greg. I just thought. Do you reckon that uh, Palmer Hill would swap, uh, swap the apple for two original and genuine? That'd be experienced t shirts. Four. Hey? Now, Kylie would like to recite a little poem to make you all feel welcome. Come on, darling. Right now, girls. Welcome to my country. It's a land of ups and downs. There are mountains, valley, rivers, swamps, there are cities and there are towns. There are kangaroos and emus and pellets coloured bright. I wish you put a sock in it. And there were sharks and things that give a nasty bite. Must be a local custom. Excuse me, I need to use the lavatory. Wait! Whatever you do, lift the seat first. The seat? The toilet seat. It's the favourite nesting place of the red-backed spider. Cousin of mine from Borogabrai sat on one on a toilet. How dreadful. Poor spider. plane back to England. I want 15, no, 20 million pounds sterling in cash upon arrival at the airport. And I don't want any funny business. That's my wish. Is that clear? Clear as crystal. No funny business. But, uh, what about the consequences? Where do I get the money from? I don't care. That's your business. You work it out. You're a genie. Rolls a normal speciality. Where have they gone? They must have gone to the toilet. They've all gone to the toilet. What are you putting in those sausage rolls, Norma? One? Gone where? They're just gone. They can't have just gone. They haven't gone back to England. Well, if they have, it's by magic. Nothing to declare, eh? Right? right. You know, this is really depressing. People just lie to me every day. Twenty million pounds. You creep. You'll pay for this! Steady on, miss. Let's not have any funny business. Can't you see what he's doing? He's just doing his job. Thank you, ma'am. Tim Bruce! You can't see me. I'll fix you. One day. Uh, just I'll get a it. minute, miss. This item purchased abroad, was it? Um. Opal. Well, I'd watch yourself if I were you. Opal's a very bad luck, you know. Looks like your luck just ran out, Pen. <laughs> oh! 
Every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. Please, Mossy. Day in, day out, people lying and cheating. I just wish I could have a bit of variety. I say, I say, I say, you rubbed the opal in your hand, your every wish was out for hand. That's very nice of you. Uh, anything to declare? I declare, I declare. Three vampires go into a blood bank. There's an Irish one, a Danish one, and an Australian. What do you want, says the nurse? We'll each have a pint, they says. Oh, she said, you better go to the pub next door. <laughs> Saving my dinner money? Inspector Grave from the Yard. Currency violation is a very serious business. Who are you working for? Her ladyship. Oh, Mossy's part of the family. Family? Which family? Not the one. From Calabria. Oh, no, we're from Wiltshire, Inspector Graveyard. Just Grave, Lady Towns. I beg your pardon? No yard, just Grave. But why are you telling me all this? This is brutality! No, it's my name. It was your suitcase, miss. Yes. Did you pack it yourself? I do all the packing, Inspector Yard Grave. Get out of here. Just leave me alone. I wish I could, miss. But there's the consequences. The cause and the effect? Exactly. You do the laundering, don't you? Of course. Twenty million pounds went missing from the Royal Mint with those exact serial numbers. Don't say anything, Mossy. Don't get involved. They'd never put us in prison. Oh, lady, the shame of it. The shame of it! For the last time, Penelope, how did that money get in your case? Mummy, you wouldn't understand. Well, I sincerely hope I wouldn't. How did you manage to acquire 20 million pounds from a royal mint? It's the worst possible thing anyone could wish for. And in unused notes. If the newspapers get a hold of this, we're finished. What if it's on TV? There's only one way out. Lots of chat shows. No, worse. We'd have to move to Australia. Oh, please don't be flippant, Penelope. No. We'll have to hire the best lawyer in the country. I wish we could talk to somebody. You can talk to me. Bats. You know that miserable man that's got the opal? He's not miserable anymore. Me and Dad made him laugh. Uh, yes. Tell him to wish I could see someone I know. Mm, I don't know. I do, Baz. I know. Just do it now. OK. It's not a cucumber. It's a didgeridoo. <laughs> Can you wish for someone that I know to see someone that they know? Hang on, this is another killer. All right, I wish for someone you know to see someone they know. What's the joke? What's the quip? What's the punchline? Tell him, Dad. You've rubbed the opal in your hand. Your every wish is our command. <laughs> Penelope. Uh, Marcia, Sophie. We simply had to see you. This is costly. Daddy read it in the telegraph. Oh. Mummy heard it on the radio. Oh. And we both heard it when Miss Rook announced it over the school intercom system. Yes. That's when the whole school heard it. No, they didn't. Chloe Kerrigan was at home with a cold. She didn't hear it. She did. I phoned her. Oh. Here, Penelope, we've brought you a present. But you can only borrow it. It's from Daddy's tool shed. What is it? File. What's that for? Well, it's not for your nails, Lady Towns. Let's go, Sophie. We don't want to be accessories. Speaking of accessories, I want to buy some gloves to match my fabulous new shoes. Goodbye, Lady Towns, and 
Goodbye, Mossad. <laughs> Bye, Bye Penelope. What made them turn up? To gloat, Mossy. To gloat. This is like a nightmare. What horror can befall us next? Hello. Shut up, Diana. Hello, Mossop. Hello, Penelope. Don't tell us why you're here. Well, I won't. But I heard about your situation on the radio, then I read about it in the newspapers, and finally I saw it on the television. So I've come to get you out. Thank heavens. Is this due to your position in society, Lord Accrington Smythe? No, Mossop. Is due to £20,000 bail money. Oh, and that Australian chap persuaded the customs man to give this to you, Penelope. He seemed to feel it might cheer you up. Oh, thank you, Bubbles. You don't know what this means to me. What about the £20 million? Pounds? And the bail money we owe, Bubbles. Oh, Diana, there are all sorts of ways you can repay me, my beloved. Oh, don't start that. I wish the money was back where it came from and the whole incident forgotten. <laughs> I know you're in there, Bruce, and I wish you'd come out in ten seconds. Should be long now. Look, here he comes. Bruce has been trying to teach me to be more responsible for the consequences of my wishes. I understand what he's getting at. Who can play at that game? <laughs> <laughs>